Hi everyone, Peter Lisiage here. Good morning. It's Tuesday morning, and my kids just went off to school. And I wrote in my journal just my、um, mindset for today, and I wanted to share that with you guys. And I'm calling this my morning brief. I typically will have a morning brief with myself just to get my mind ready, and I need that every single day. And I get up in the morning, as you guys know, and some of you might know this if you follow me on. On Snapchat or or the other socials like Facebook and Instagram,、uh, then I get up early and I do my training in the morning. Whether it's a run, walk, or go to the gym, I just、uh, get out. But uh, uh, but I wanted to、uh, today speak to you what I wrote in my journal、It、has to do with mental and emotional、uh, martial art mindset. And、uh, martial arts has,、uh, and I tell our students this all the time. Martial arts has very little to do. With、uh, kicks and punches, even though that's what you'll see when you look into、uh, our window at、uh, Donato Karate Center, we're doing a lot of kicks and punches. But as an instructor, someone who's been doing this for a long time, if you don't know that,、um, you know our master、uh, Peter Lisiaga, one of the instructors at Donato Karate Center, and I've been、um, there since、um, 1999. 2000. So it's been a while, and it's always in my mind. It's not so much the kicks and the punches, but it's about creating this mindset, creating this mental strength, emotional strength to confront the challenges that I have every day. And so that's what I think of when I train. And yeah, it's great. When I was younger, I had all these incredible kicks, and it was pretty cool to do the physical stuff. And it's still cool when I'm older, at 56, 44 years to 100,、uh, to do these. Cool things physically, but I could feel my body,、uh, you know, not kicking as high, not going as fast. The young people are doing incredible things these days, so I'm not trying to keep up with them. But what I am utilizing in martial arts is my ability to empower myself through mental strength and emotional strength. And I, what I learn on the floor, I take and apply it to life. And so this morning, I wanted to share with you a couple of things that I wrote in my journal. Just three things, very quickly, and、uh, let me go ahead and share that with you. Right, the first thing I did. Well, first of all, is more short mindset.、Uh, be positive, and we all know this. We know the value of being positive and always looking at every situation in a positive way. But that's、uh, a mindset. It's a choice. Like discipline is a choice. I do not believe that you could go anywhere and somebody will give you discipline or you will get more discipline. Discipline simply, and this is my professional opinion and personal opinion, discipline simply is a choice. You either do the right thing or you don't,、uh, and that's in, in in a split second. You say, you know what, this is my choice. Do it or not do it. That's it. It's that simple. And so the mindset for me has to be that I believe. Whatever I want to do is possible, no matter what's in front of me. Whether it's an extreme challenge,、uh, I I need to believe. I want to believe that whatever the challenge is, that I can overcome this. For me, that's having a positive mindset, having this mindset where you know, no matter what, I'm going to fight through this, and no matter how hard it is, I'm going to rise above it and become harder, become tougher. If the situation is tough. I'll be tougher, and that's how I train when I train in martial arts. Whether it's、uh, with kicks, punches on the bag, or grappling, it doesn't matter. Whether my back is out and I have to try to teach classes through the day, my mind is going to be: I'm going to get through this. If I bust a calf, which happens right before I test for my sixth degree, I blew my calf out, and my first thought was: Okay, what do I need to do to make sure that I make it? To my black belt test, which was two months later, even though people around me were saying、oh, you should cancel, reschedule, maybe get it next time, that was not my mindset. My mindset was positive. I would say, how, what do I need to do to overcome this, to make this happen? What do I need to do as far as、um, maybe getting new,、uh, nutrients, eating other kinds of foods to build my body stronger, train my body, to strengthen my core, to keep my body moving this way that blood flows through. So that's a positive mindset. So、uh, no matter what your challenge is. Mental, positive, always, and that's discipline. You choose to do that. People who look at 
something that's challenging and then start talking or complaining about it, that's negative. That's not going to help. That's not going to serve your cause, which hopefully will be to overcome that challenge. Mindset, choice, be positive. No, you can overcome it. You will overcome it, especially those of us that have lived enough years and have been through enough challenges from the ups and downs of life. By the grace of God, God, here we are right now on the other side of those challenges. So I don't know whether you're getting, uh, whether you are in the middle of extreme challenge or just coming out of an extreme challenge. I definitely know this. You'll e- either be one or the other, or you're getting ready to go into an extreme challenge. That's been my experience in life. So it's never going to be easy as it goes forever. There'll always be the ups and downs in life. So develop the mindset, develop the discipline to be positive, to look at every situation, uh, knowing that you're going to overcome it. Number two is, uh, I wrote down number two for me is discover the lesson. And over life, through the challenges that I've had in my life, I've learned my greatest lessons. I've uncovered you know, who I was, the real me. When I'm confronted with a challenge, I am faced with who I am, my fears, my shortcomings, my weaknesses. I am confronted with the truth of who I am. And when I'm doing great and everything's popping and I'm making all the right choices and, and saying all the right things... It's easy to feel like you're superhuman. You're like in the zone and nothing can stop you. But the reality is that at any given moment, life's circumstances, a situation will stop you in your tracks and expose who you are. And in that moment, you will realize that uh, you're weak. You have uh, you have you don't have what it takes. So you have that choice to uh, to either dig deep get tough and uncover what you need to do to overcome that challenge or you don't. It's a choice. So when I choose to overcome it, when I choose to say, you know what, I will do whatever it takes to get tough and get overcome this challenge. I will get through this and I get on the other side. I learn more about who I am and that becomes a real life earned lesson wisdom. And for me, wisdom cannot be taught by reading a book or listening to other people. Wisdom, for me, is learned by living a real life. So uh, uh, let me know if you guys agree with that. You know, like or uh, put the wild face or something like that over a heart or write in the comment section. Let me know if you agree with that uh, living real life experiences, especially the challenges in life, develops wisdom. Okay, so my number three, and this is my last one here, is um, reflect and appreciate. And for me, it's reflecting. I do this every evening, every night I, when I finish my day. I'm exhausted. I put my head on, uh, on my pillow. And what I reflect on in that moment is what I'm grateful for, what, I'm a, uh, what I appreciate. And uh, I always reflect back to where I started who, you know, growing up in the Bronx, growing up with the street gangs and with the violence and the abuse. And I remember thinking that, is this my life? Is that it? Is that that it? And I remember deep down inside of me, I knew there was more to life than what I was experiencing in that moment. I had no idea what it was. I didn't know what I was going to do in my life. But I did know that the suffering and the challenges that I was going through in that moment in my life as a, a, a young teenager, in New York, and especially when I was living in the streets, not knowing what my life was going to come to, I knew there was something more to my life. So now, here I am, 56 years old, and uh, reflecting on where I've, uh, what I've come through, and I, I cannot help but appreciate that. I cannot help but appreciate the marriage that I have with uh, my wife Renee, and we're going to celebrate 30 years married in uh, um, November next month. And I cannot help but appreciate the children that I have, Alexandra and Christian, now are teenagers, Alexandra getting ready to graduate high school, and Christian doing awesome in school and becoming this young entrepreneur and learning how to make things happen when he has a, a, a goal he wants to accomplish, how he needs to work to 
reach that goal. It just amazes me to see my kids at uh, 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 13, going to be 14 very soon, and 17 years old, their minds and the possibilities that are ahead of them. And I remember being 13 years old, and by 13, I was living in the streets and with no hope. Here my son is, 13, going to be 14, with this mind and, and the future, a positive future ahead of him, looking forward to the future. And I remember being 17, and I remember at 17 years old, I had just turned 17, and I was in a, in a bit, in a horrible situation within a gang. And then I left New York because of it and went down to Florida and uncertain what my life was going to be like at 17. Here, my daughter at 17 is uh, getting ready to celebrate graduating high school with the possibilities, what she's going to do in the future, working at Donato Karate Center as one of our instructors and at the same time, you know, going to college and learning some great things and utilizing her creatives uh, as an artist, as, uh, uh, as this incredible human being. Uh, it just amazes me. It just... Uh, I'm grateful for this and I appreciate that. So this is what I think of at nighttime, looking back uh, on my day and challenges of the day, whatever. And then before you, I know it, I'm asleep and then I'm ready to wake up the next day and, and start my day. So anyway, I wanted to share that with you. Share with me, you know, when you get up in the morning, what's, uh, what are some of the positive things that you think of when you get up in the morning? And just uh, one, two words, things that you think of. Is it family? Is it uh, um, your career? Or is it your, abil you know, your ability just to do what you do and enjoy it? And whatever it is, let me know what that is. Other than that, I'm going to get ready for my day. I have a whole list of things that I want to accomplish. But I wanted to share a bit of a morning brief with those of you out there. So enjoy your day. And I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day.